This game belongs to Nintendo. The game and the music recorded during the footage was all created by Nintendo. I do not own any of the game or music or sounds in the gameplay, except for my voice. The only part that I actually own is the video itself, the intro that I made, and the thumbnail. This is all for copyright shenanigans, so most of you don't need to worry about any of this. Now, let's get started with the video. Hello guys, I am RussoGamer1, and um, I found recently a mechanic in Super Mario Odyssey that could help save time in certain parts on speedruns. So, what this mechanic is, is I'm sort of demonstrating it right now, these cappy bounces. As you probably know, if you jump up and then dive onto your hat, you can get a bounce off of it, but if you try to do it again, you'll just fall right through and you won't be able to get a second bounce in. Uh, but you can actually get a third, a, another bounce in if there's a moon nearby, which is, uh, which is why I went here kind of high up in the air and it's in a nice position to do this. If you get a moon after you've bounced off of your hat, for some reason, the getting a moon resets all of the cappy bounces that you've done and lets you get another one when you really shouldn't be able to. So let's see if I can get a cappy bounce and then hit the hat and then hit the moon. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. And then before I hit the ground, I did another cappy dive, and it hit the hat and bounced off, which normally wouldn't be possible, but it is, because if you get a ungotten moon after bouncing off of cappy, you can do another cappy bounce, which could be helpful in a scenario like that where you do a cappy bounce into the moon and then you can just do another one over to the bass player and then talk to him if you're doing that. But there is a jump in New Donk City that allows you to get three moons in one jump which can save a ton of time in speedrunning and so I'll just cut to that part right now. Okay, so here I am at the very top of the New Donk City building. And I, if you're speedrunning Super Mario Odyssey, I would highly recommend um, coming here at some point, because it's really fast to get to. And what you can do is, once I make it to the top, as you can see, there's a power moon here. Um, but just to show you, I can, I think I can do it in snapshot mode. What's the zoom button? X. Yep, yeah, there we go. There's a power moon down there. And there's also, if you can see that, like, patio down there, I think I should be able to get a better shot of it right there. That patio down there, if you ground pound in the middle of it, there's another power moon right there. So there's three power moons all in this same vicinity. And if you go behind the little patio, there's the, um, the people walking in the thing and you have to go over and get past them all in a certain time, that challenge, which has two moons, so there's already five moons in this very close area, and you can get a lot of them in almost one jump. We are going to be getting the first three of these moons in the same jump. You're going to want to line them up like that, and then get the first one. And then getting a bounce off of your hat, and angling down, and there we go, I've gotten the second one. Dive off the hat, line myself up, and ground pound. I messed it up, but it should be right there, yep. 
And if you ground pound in the same, if you ground pound in the right spot, you can literally get three moons in one jump, which is really nice. And then you can just go in here. And this is the people walking challenge. Which is not a very hard moon to get. And you can just get that one, bounce up here, and then, boom, get that one. And there we go, we've just gotten five whole moons in a very short period of time without, and I'll show you the normal way you would do it without the trick, because we can't do it anymore, because there's no um, unactivated moons, but this is the normal way that you would get those three moons. Let's see. Right, we have to jump down here. There we go. Alright. Let's make our way back to the top. Nope. There we go. So, we're just gonna make our way back to the top of the tower. And what you would normally do is come up here, jump off, and get that moon. Come back down here, stupid heater. And then long jump off of this platform, do a cappy bounce, get that moon. And then go in the pool, jump out, and then jump down. And then come down here, and then ground pound right there. Get it. And then come over here. And that takes a lot longer than just doing it all in one go. And that is the small mechanic that I found in Super Mario Odyssey. I haven't seen it be being done in any of the speedruns that I've watched so far. And I've never heard anyone actually talk about it. But that is the uh, trick, and not really a trick. It's a mechanic that, for some reason, exists in Super Mario Odyssey that you can use to seriously save time in Super Mario Odyssey. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode for more gaming content. Russo Gamer 1, out.